Welcome, ladies and gents, to this week's episode of my Stoneblock 3 playthrough. In today's episode, we're going to finally finish our Smell 3. We're going to start to automate gravel, and we're going to dip our toes into some power production. So let's get into it. So the first task on my list is actually an auto hammer. So this will prevent us from having to basically manually crush cobble every time we need to make anything. So we'll need some iron, gold, another iron hammer, some glass, and some redstone, which we have gotten along our travels. So we have glass, we have redstone, we have an iron hammer. All we need is gold and iron. The smeltery will be coming along. So let's get that sorted. Okay, let's, for starters, let's put that there. And now we have basically automated our gravel production. I'm pretty sure these auto hammers have an internal buffer of eight stacks. And this is producing more cobblestone than what we can process. So this will always be full of cobble. And now we have an automatic way to get gravel. So while that is processing, here's a little something I uh, prepared earlier, more gravel. We'll chuck that in our millstone. That will give us a lot more sand. We're going to put our iron in our little smeltery. We're gonna put more zinc in there as well. The remainder of that we can probably leave in there. So sand is going to be what we're going to need for the smeltery part of things. We've got clay, which I have kindly uh, gotten a good collection of. Some people, you're probably going to notice the temporal pouch I have in my inventory. When I started prepping for this episode, I noticed that our quests had reset, so I had to go through and... I guess reactivate these quests, which ultimately gave me more rewards. It just happened to give me that as a reward. <laughs> and we got another couple of gem, so I'm pretty sure we're set on cobble for quite a while. So do we have a stack yet? We do have a stack. We have our clay. How's our sand coming along? We don't have much sand right now. So let's... So this basically acts as a time in a bottle. Just as we've used previously, I used the time in a bottle a lot on my streaming series over on my ocean block and it basically accumulates time the longer you're in the world and you can use that time to accelerate different blocks that'll do and with this we're going to combine them make some grip and we turn that grout into uh, seared stone or seared brick and those bricks we're going to use for our smeltery so what do we need to complete this smeltery quest so we need just a seared block a drain which requires copper which we have plenty of we're going to need glass that's good 
because we need a fuel tank. And we need a smeltery controller, which requires, I see, a brick and four copper ingots. So while we have this here, we're going to use our first lot to make a basin, which we will need We'll get that drain going. We'll get that brick going. Need to put a glass in the middle that goes into the fuel tank. And now, for the rest, we can turn into bricks. I think we're going to need a second drain. It's always good to have two drains in any smeltery. It's a lot more efficient. It's easier to extract a lot of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna put the copper ingots in there. Put that there, and that goes in there. Four ingots. And there is our smeltery controller. Let's make a second cast. Is that everything we need? That is everything we need. So that is our smeltery quest completed. What do I get? Another stick. Slowpoke 101 doesn't want me. I've actually, like, while I've been doing a lot of this off camera, I've gained quite a collection of sticks. So we've got Slowpoke one we just got, Iron Not Groot. The stickiest of sticky sticks. Uh, stick Heron. It wants to speak to your manager. Better Stick Cumber Branch. Lucky Stick of Unluckiness, and Holy Stick of Wood Divining. So if we start by working out where we want this to go, that is our next question. I think that we actually might need this guy right here. So I will be right back once I figure out where this smeltery is going to live. Okay, so I've dug out this wall. So this will be where we put our smeltery as of right now. So the interior is a 3x3. Three It can be a one by one, but this is, it's better to do it this way. Okay, we'll put the controller there, tank there, the two drains, one can go there, one can go there. So now we just need 14-ish. Right now, I'm going to be making another another couple of these because it's it's taken a little while to wait for sand to get processed. So that's one. And that is two. And now. Uh, we're going to put one there. It gets turned into dirt. And I'll put this here. That gets turned into sand. Yes, I could probably clean this up just a little bit. But now we have sand. We need at least another 10 blocks 
to finish this entirely. It is functional. But I need places for them to come out. And these don't activate until it is two blocks high. So I need one more layer across the top. And then that'll be done. So I'll wait for a lot of sand to process. And then I'll come back with all the resources I need to continue this. I have all the materials I need. Now let's make this a functional smeltery. One, two, and three. Done. It can hold 216 ingots compared to what we had to begin with. It holds 12. So that is a massive step up. So we can effectively repurpose this, but not quite yet, because this requires lava, which, yes, we can get using the fire plow and a bucket. There's the bucket and a bucket. Bam, now it's functional. So if we just keep filling it up with this stick, we can effectively dismantle everything we've got here. I'll leave them in there for now. And but we don't need them anymore. We'll keep the hoppers. We can eventually raise that higher. But right now, we are going to make another one of them. So now, bam, bam, pow. So to automate this, I just need to put that there, and that there. Put that there, that'll activate this. Now that is a functional smeltery. So we can now cross that off our list of things to do. We can move all our ingots over to here because this is where they're all going to live. Just to make things a little easier so I'm not stuck with having to cut trees down. Got myself a hopper botany pot. And the way these work, that you put your chest down, you put this on top. And whatever you grow in the pot will automatically hop it down into the chest. So you put your dirt in the bottom, something on the top. But that will eventually, we speed this bad boy up, it will grow and it will output the rewards down in the chest. So it makes things a little easier because you can put any kind of plant in the botany pots. You get sticks, oak saplings, logs, and you've got a chance of apples as well. We go recipe for them. We could put vines in a botany pot. That I did not know. 
I'm I'm gonna have to take note of that because that'll become very handy when we jump into this because that requires rubber and rubber binds around a bucket of water. We're gonna need that. We we do have enough clay to make another botany pot, but right now we are going to jump into power. Power. We now have a sterling dynamo. We have our first item that gives us power. Basic flux storage, that's handy. Thermalpedia. Okay. And that just sounded like I got another stick. Another stick of divining. And that can go in there as well. Sterling dynamo. I'm pretty sure this just requires a burnable. Yep, max production 40, efficiency 100%. Okay, so we have our first basic machine, I suppose. We really want to get a magma crucible because then that's a really good way to automate lava production. But it requires nether bricks. One thing that I have found is to progress in a lot of the blocks that I would love to craft requires a lot of digging for example this is what we've got at the moment and beyond this ring out here is where we're going to find everything that we're going to need to progress forward so off camera i'm going to have to dig all the way out well over a thousand blocks to get to where we can mine the blocks that we need so I'm going to do that all off camera between episodes. But until then, um, until then, I'm going to end the episode off here. I appreciate everybody who takes the time out of their day to watch these videos. It means a lot. And I appreciate all the support. I'd like to say thank you. And as always, if you enjoy the content, feel free to hit that like button. And so you don't miss out on any future content, feel free to hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is selected so you get notified when I put up more content. But until next time, I hope everyone looks after themselves in this Easter period. And I'll catch us all in the next episode. Bye-bye.